Hey there, Earthlings, I'm Mars, your wild and dusty neighbor, the fourth planet from the Sun. They call me the Red Planet, and trust me, I've got some seriously cool stories to share. Buckle up, I'm about to take you on a cosmic ride through my world. First off, check out my awesome red glow, that's no paint job, it's iron oxide, or as you'd call it, rust, covering my surface. Imagine a planet-sized rusty spaceship, that's me. It's what makes me stand out in the night sky when you peek through your telescopes. Unlike your one big, shiny moon, I've got two little rebels, Phobos and Deimos. They're like captured asteroids I snagged from space, small, scrappy, and totally cool. Phobos even zooms around me three times a day. Talk about hyper. Now, let's talk about my bragging rights. Meet Olympus Mons, the tallest volcano in the whole solar system. It's 13.6 miles high, almost three times taller than your Mount Everest. If it erupted, it'd be the ultimate lava party. But don't worry, I've been chilling for a while. And then there's Valles Marineris, my massive canyon. It's over 2,500 miles long and plunges 7 miles deep. Picture this, it could stretch across your entire United States and still have room to spare. Grand Canyon? Poof, I'm the king of canyons. Ever seen a storm that swallows a whole planet? I throw the wildest dust storms in the solar system. They can last for months and cover me entirely. It's like a cosmic dance party, only with dust instead of disco lights. Brr, it gets cold here. My average temp is a frosty negative 80 degrees Fahrenheit. At my poles, it can drop way lower, but near the equator in summer, I warm up to a cozy 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Still, you'd need a mega space heater to hang out with me. Believe it or not, I used to be a water world. Rivers, lakes, maybe even oceans once flowed across my surface. Now you'll find the water ice at my poles and dry riverbeds, like scars from my wet and wild past. Pretty cool, right? Your scientists are obsessed with me and I love the attention. They've sent rovers like Curiosity and Perseverance to poke around my rocks and sniff out clues about ancient life. These little explorers are like my personal detectives, super smart and totally tough. Here's the big question, did life ever party on Mars? Scientists think maybe way back when I had water, I might have been a hotspot for tiny microbes. They're still searching for proof and I'm keeping my secrets buried deep. A day on Mars, called a soul, is just a tad longer than yours. 24 hours, 39 minutes and 35 seconds. Plenty of time for a rover road trip or a dust storm showdown. Oh, and my gravity is only 38% of Earth's. You'd bounce around like a space kangaroo. One day, you humans might crash my party for real. Plans are brewing to send astronauts here, maybe even build a Martian neighborhood. You'd need air, warm suits and stormproof houses, but I'd love the company. Imagine calling me home. So that's me. Mars, the red planet with the wildest stories in the solar system. From epic volcanoes to dusty storms and dreams of human visitors, I'm one cool cosmic rock. Keep staring up at the sky, Earthlings, and let's dream big together. Catch you on the next orbit.